We make enough biogas from the food that comes in here to produce uh, 27 to 29,000 megawatt hours of electricity a year. That's enough power to run a small town. When we opened the doors, we found that a lot of our material comes from food manufacturers. It comes from the farm, warehouses that store food. Costco does a very good job separating their organic streams from other streams. Local haulers that run uh, what you would call a garbage truck are running specific organic pickup loads. So they'll pick up uh, McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts, uh, Taco Bell, things like that. All over the state of New Jersey, we get material from Pennsylvania, uh, some from New York, from Maryland. So it comes from all around. So if they're within a 100 mile radius of us, generally the transportation cost of moving that material to us um, is favorable when you compare it to the cost of landfilling. So all in, about 400 tons a day of material comes in. I like to tell people that a digester is like a giant stomach. And that giant stomach is producing uh, a residual. And the giant stomach is producing gas. And that giant stomach is breaking the food down and getting the energy out of that food. It goes through a process of hydrolysis, where bacteria breaks that food down and produces methane. And that methane is, is coupled with CO2 and moisture, and we call that biogas. So the gas that is produced from the digester runs through a um, gas cleaning system. It gets stored into a membrane, and then that gas is used to power a generator that makes electricity that goes to the grid. When the material arrives, it, goes, it starts with the receiving hopper. There are three receiving hoppers. Each one conveys that material through a collection conveyor. Collection conveyor moves that material into a crusher. The crusher reduces the size of the material to about uh, like two inches long by four inches wide. From there, we go to the overbelt magnet system. and It allows the food and the plastics to pass through at a pretty good clip while picking the metals off with this electric magnet. And so at the end of that process, we can take totes of uh, crushed cans out for recycling. Meanwhile, the organic fraction moves on. We spin that material up and we separate the plastics and the food portion. And the plastics, we extract them out, move them through another conveyor system where they get washed and put into a compactor. After digestion and after the bacteria has extracted that energy out of the food in the form of biogas, we're left with a, with a digested solid. That digested solid is, the, is an earthy substance that's now been pasteurized because it's in the temperature and the environment of the digester. So it's pathogen free, it's nutrient rich. So it looks like a compost material or a peat moss. It has that kind of a, of a feel to it. We are working with soil blending facilities. We're working with facilities that make golf course divot soil. We're working with facilities that grow uh, ornamental plants, uh, greenhouses, uh, mushrooms. So there's all types of different um, plants that can thrive with this type of material that we produce. We bring that digested material back into the plant and we run it through what we call a centrifuge and that separates the liquids from the solids strip the ammonia out of that liquid and produce a product called ammonium sulfate. Ammonium sulfate is a commodity, basically a 36% solution of uh, fertilizer in water used for growing grass and green leafy vegetables. The property itself was secured in 2005. Really, most people I think would have, would have just, after five years, head, headed for the hills. Peter stuck with it. Peter and I met and I brought uh, to the site the anaerobic digestion technology and we figured out a way to make a kind of a farm-based technology fit an urban environment. All in, we broke ground about eight years later. This was really a great coming together of capital, management, and labor in the best sense of the word. We've created a facility here for the first time, independent, freestanding, privately financed, that is in the business of taking waste out of landfills, reducing climate gas, and putting it to productive use in producing renewable energy, both gas and power, and additives to the agricultural sector. Everything that comes in here goes out as a productive asset. So for me as an investor, this has been an extremely rewarding experience because 
been able to do something that I can really be proud of. But at the end of the day, this was my public service. I think in the, in the more recent really in just in the last year, more people are interested in sustainability. Um, there's a food waste law in the state of New Jersey and the New Jersey DEP has enforcement teams out talking to the food generators to make sure that they're doing the right thing to take their organics out of the landfill. So that's a positive thing for the business. So we're working on phase two actually right now. So we're, uh, it's in the works and we're talking about a 510 per day expansion.